I'm dancing horribly. Really, who really cares? So overthinking really, really has stopped me from doing a lot of things. I actually wanted to do more. Hey. Hey. So if this is your first time coming to my channel, thanks for clicking. I really appreciate. So on this channel, I talk about fashion, travel, and lifestyle. Like all the sweet sweet spot in Lagos, you can actually visit all the budgets. And if you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you always coming to watch my videos. So today, I really want to have a little heart to heart talk with you guys, my subscribers. I I know most of us really know that. May be affected by what I want to talk about. Most of us have some regrets we had when we were younger. So I just want to talk about things I wish I knew when I was in my early 20s. Yes, I wish I did differently when I was in my early 20s. I know you guys are like suspicious. This guy is not that old. Babe, I'm guy, I'm not that old. Oh, babe, I'm not that old. I just in my late 20s, but I just want to share things I wish I had done differently when I was in my early 20s. That stage of experiment, that stage of wanting to become. So the first thing I'm talking about is the thing I regret overthinking stuff. When I was younger, or when I just first graduated, I had so many things I wanted to do, but I had no clear goal of how to achieve them. So I really just, okay, I want to go to Ghana, I want to go to Kenya, I want to see the world, but I have to plan on actually being able to achieve that. Many of us have so many, many things we wanted to achieve, but we just overthink it. The what ifs, what if it goes bad, what if it does, but really, what if it really goes bad? It's experiment, like, if you just try to say you want to be a dancer or something, actually make efforts to go for auditions and see if you can dance. And if you dance and they say you're not good enough, you can make efforts to improve, you know, but many of us just use them. What if it doesn't go well? What if you don't like my dance step? What if I'm dancing horribly? Really, who really cares? So overthinking really, really has stopped me from doing a lot of things. I actually wanted to do more of writing and being a researcher, but eventually that goal or that dream died down. And I realized that I prefer to even write more of fashion and be at like more of editorial content that I've managed to achieve and I am really grateful to God I actually pushed through with that because beginning my life as a blogger the first part the beginning part was very very tough and rough at some point you will send your write-up to companies and they take your content they recreate it in a way that is better they never give you feedback that it's that your content needs improvement but they will recreate it because there's one particular company that I wrote for and they recreated my content and actually published it in their site without any credit to me you know so it was very very challenging but I just thank them know that I know it's about thinking to kill that because really about thinking is one thing that kills a lot of dreams amongst the youth then another thing I want to talk about is self-doubt Many of us doubt our abilities, doubt our competencies. We're looking for validations from people. Like, I always refer to my blogging career because there are times where you join some particular groups just to feel like you're good enough or you're looking for validation. And you, you really just feel like you're not good enough when you write. Like, ah, is my writing okay? Do people really like it? Is my content that I'm putting out making sense? That self doubt actually affected many, many, many things I would have achieved. Like, I was like, should I? go ahead and be a model. Do people really think I can model? I'm not really good with fashion. I have very few fashionable clothes. Like, can I really talk about fashion? Like, there are many things that really cause self-doubt for me and I was doubting my competency, my ability. And this one also applies to my 9 to 5 job. Like, there are sometimes you do some particular things that even your peers can't even do. But you're still doubting. Is it good enough? The perfectionist in us makes us doubt our best, our ability to do things and that's really 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 bad like i wish when i was in my early 20s i became more of my own number one fan my own number one supporter because really if you're not confident in yourself if you're not able to sell your ideas or be able to show that you're good at what you do and you're not sold in what you do how will you sell it to someone else how will you tell people that wearing bomb shirts and t-shirts is the best thing you can ever get. Like really, if you yourself you are doubting your own ability to actually believe in what you're selling, how will you sell it? So I wish in my 20s I would have I've been able to build more confidence. Confidence to be able to do what I want to do. Like there's nothing wrong in making mistakes. In your early 20s, 
mistakes. You're free to make mistakes. Mistakes are normal. Like you should try a lot of things that you want to do. So you make mistakes and improve on them. Like you don't keep living in your head because really there are many of us that actually live in our head. If you check, like I want to be uh, a Genevieve and I know I have this little bit of skill that needs brushing if I actually make attempts, you know. If I make attempts to actually go into auditioning for a role in a movie, keep acting, doing background roles until I become a lead actor in a movie, maybe someday I'll be a Genevieve. But when you just keep living in it, you don't keep trying to make mistakes and get corrected, improve and all that. And the other thing I wish I had done in my evidence is like learning, improving, keep learning. Because trust me, if you don't learn, how would you improve? Like you could keep learning, reading up new things because really most of us were like, we don't know a lot of things because we don't really read, we're not curious to know. Learning, you can't keep learning and you have to keep learning and then sometimes when the things you learn, you need to unlearn them. Like many of us believe that at so so age, you're supposed to have achieved this, like you bench our happiness to success, but really you need to unlearn that because even when you achieve success, you're going to feel like you won't even feel the impact of that success. Like you celebrate your little wins. Like I got accepted in this. You should celebrate it. Like I got a win and award. You should celebrate all those small small wins because really, you don't need very extraordinary wins to be able to enjoy life. Enjoy life even when you have little. And I want to talk about is starting small, small. Like many of us want to do a lot of things. I knew people that wanted to be a YouTuber, like I just started, and they are waiting for the day they be able to afford the camera, night lightning. They want to be able to afford, you know, they just want to be able to have things that other YouTubers or other step established people do. But really, if you check this thing, then. Many people started very little, start from small, start very little, start within what you have. If you have an Android phone, start. You just, you don't have a camera stand, start. Just start with, you can use anything as a stand. The whole thing is that if you're resilient and you're confident in what you do, you can be anything you want to be. Start with the little things you have, be resourceful. There's nothing wrong with being resourceful and trying to make efforts with what you want to do, you know. And there's one that thing I wish I never did in my early 20s comparison like comparison compare yourself with people that are already established can help you doubt yourself further like you begin to see compare your own current situation with other people that are already made trust me you don't know their story you don't even know half of their stories at one point in my life i was following so many celebrities like because you know when it comes to fashion it's mostly celebrities that do more of wearing and face makers and all but really at one point i just went to follow a lot of celebrities why because I was trying to get my own inner peace. Why can't I find peace within myself and do what I like? Start with shopping with green cattle and styling it in a way that people will be like, wow, is this good expensive or something? I, I had to unfollow these people, so I'll consciously start my own journey. My own journey that I will look back and say, wow, so this is where I started from, this is where I used to be. And be grateful for every single day. I wish I knew when I was younger is fighting like trying to be have imposter syndrome this all stems from comparison too because when you're comparing yourself with others you begin to doubt yourself you begin to have imposter syndrome like am i really this person am i really worthy of talking about this am i really worthy of writing that book am i a success yes talk about so 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 imagine all these things i know i'm working towards being an author somebody but really there's this self-doubt that comes with like, am I worthy of actually sharing knowledge? I need to be successful to talk about all this and that, that. But really, in this in your early 20s, this that phase of your life where you need to try everything. Most of us came out of school and we studied something else and we are doing something else currently. And sometimes we are not really comfortable with doing what we are doing now. But when you come out of your early 20s, make efforts to try out things. You can get a job just to make ends meet and you spend 2-3 years and actually eventually jump ship and go to what you really like. As far as you can defend it, that's what they call it like, um, you can write your CV in such a way that you talk about your skills and you get a whole new job or a whole new goal. Because really if you check it, there's no job that you already know about. Like. There are some jobs that you feel you must have done it, but they will get to train you. They get to train you about things that you don't know. Every brand, every business has different stuff ready. So you can't just have this knowledge from home. So be willing to try out, be willing to 
to explore. That's what I was going to explore. Stop overthinking this. What if I'm going on the road and Okada is jamming? Really, if Okada is supposed to jam you, it will jam you even when you're close to your house. So why are you afraid of doing stuff? So, guys, if you like this kind of videos, please don't forget to comment. Comment the things that you wish you had done differently when you're in your 20s. Comment the things you wish you had made effort to do and maybe your life now will be different. And even if you're 30, you're 35, you're 40 and you're watching, watching this video, you can still do many things you wish you. You, you, you are done in your relationships. Jump ship if you need to. Resign and start pursuing your dreams if you have to. As far as it makes you happy. So that you will not spend all your life just making more regrets than regrets you've already made. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up.